Welcome back! In this video, we will go on building a smart digital assistant and see how we can perform tasks with voice in a React Native app. First, let's recall what we have. This is a standard recipe app, allowing us to browse recipes and check what ingredients are needed. So, we can use our voice to move between screens in the app. To be able to perform tasks with voice with the Alan platform, we need to do two things. First, send a command to perform a task from the voice script, and next, handle this command in the app. We will start with something really simple. Send a command to write a line to React Native Logs. Let's add a new intent to our voice script. When this intent is matched, our voice assistant will send a command to the app and play the confirmation to us. To send a command, we will add another pplay function with the JSON object for our command. We will define only the command name for now. Go in to the debugging chat to check it. You can see a gray bubble here, which means our command is already sent to the app. The next step is to handle it. In the integrations view, we will copy the code for Alan event listener. Here, when any command is received from Alan, we will write it to logs. To register our event listening in the app, we will leverage the use effect hook. Define variables required by our listener. And add the necessary import statements at the top. Time to try it out. Write a message to logs. Sure. Done. Our event listener is working, so let's use it for routine tasks. If we take a look at our app, we will see that it uses the React Navigation library. To move to a new screen here, we need to call the navigate function. For instance, let's open the drawer container. Here, when the categories menu item is tapped, the navigate function is used to jump to the categories screen. Now we will add a possibility to open the categories screen with voice. Let's add a new intent to the voice script and send the open categories command when this intent is matched. In the app, we will update our event listener. As soon as this command is received, we need to use the navigate function to transit to the category screen. And here is a tricky part. We need to implement root navigation. Root navigation is helpful if you need to trigger navigation actions from middleware which is exactly our case. You can find a link to the root navigation page in the React Navigation docs in the video description below. First, we will create the root navigation JS file. And then we will get back to our navigation container and access the root navigation object here through a reference. Adding the two input statements required. Now let's update our event listener to call the navigate function from root navigation and try it out. Open categories. Opening the recipe categories. This works well. Now we can add a similar intent to get back. And then handle it in the app. Check in it again. Open categories. Opening the recipe categories. And go back. Going back home. Next, we will move forward and implement a recipe browsing scenario. If we drill down to our home screen, we will see that it is organized as a flat list. All the recipe data is provided in the data erase file. To open a specific recipe page, we again need to use the navigate function and pass the recipe page name along with the recipe item object to it. Let's try it for a single page at first and open 
Pumpkin Spice Cookies with Voice. Getting back to our voice script. Adding a new intent. Open Pumpkin Spice Cookies. Here, together with the command name, we will send the name of the recipe to open. On the upside, we first need to get the recipe item from the data race. We will import recipes and add a new get recipe function that will return the recipe object by its title. To our event listener, we will add a new condition. If the command is open recipe, we will get the necessary recipe item with the get recipe function we have just added and pass this item to our navigate function. Checking it in the app. Open pumpkin spice cookies. Opening a recipe for you. But there's a bunch of recipes, so let's allow our users to open any recipe we have. We will update our intent to replace the exact value, like pumpkin spice cookies, with a slot that will allow us to capture any expected value. We will name our slot recipe and add a list of recipe names that can be opened with voice. The name obtained from the user's utterance will be stored in the P recipe value field. And we will try this intent with different recipe names. Open pumpkin spice cookies. Opening a recipe for you. Open vegan cookies. Opening a recipe for you. As you might have noticed, there's a tiny problem. To be able to get the item object from the data race, the recipe name must be capitalized. And the recipe name captured with the slot is not. To overcome this, we will use slot labels. To each value in a slot, we will add a label and send our label in the command. And a final thing to do. We will add the tilde character to the slot name to enable fuzzy matching. And make sure our voice assistant can respond if the user alters the recipe name a bit, rewards it or skips a part of the phrase. Getting back to the app. Open spice cookies. Opening a recipe for you. Open triple berry smoothie. Opening a recipe for you. In a similar way, you can perform any activities in your app. Just add a new intent with a command to be sent and handle it in the app. Subscribe to our channel to learn more and comment on what you would like to see next.